guys, I'm Neha and you're watching Target Study YouTube channel. Today I'm here with one such subject which may be tough for some but it is very interesting and rewarding for all those who are good at analyzing and interpreting the resultant data, finding patterns and drawing conclusions or have a habit of designing and conducting observational and experimental studies. Yes, my dear friends, I'm talking about the subject mathematics and in particular one of the most preferred course of PG experience and that course is MSc Mathematics. You can say Master of Science in Mathematics. Today in this video, I'll describe all important aspects of this particular course like what exactly MSc Mathematics course is, what are the eligibility conditions to do MSc Mathematics? What is the syllabus of MSc Mathematics? Which are the top colleges from where you can do MSc Mathematics? What is the fee of MSc Mathematics? What are the career prospects after doing MSc Mathematics? What is the salary that you can expect after doing MSc Mathematics? And much more. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Firstly, let me tell you what exactly MSc Mathematics is. MSc Mathematics or Master of Science in Mathematics is a postgraduate mathematics course. The duration of Master's of Science degree in Mathematics is mostly two academic years. The Master's degree course is offered by many colleges or universities, both private and government, throughout the country. After having passed the degree course, candidates can go for many jobs in various places. Now you would like to know the eligibility conditions to get admission in MSc Mathematics degree course. So guys, to get admission in MSc Mathematics degree course, you need to hold a UG, that is Bachelor of Science degree with Mathematics as one of the main subjects at this level. Here I would like to tell you that some institutes may also demand a minimum percentage of marks at UG level to provide admission to MSc Mathematics course and that can be anywhere between 50% to 60% depending upon the individual institute or university you are looking to join. And some institutes may even give preference to the students who have completed their graduation with mathematics honors. So it is always advisable to plan your UG course if you have already made your mind to join MSc Mathematics at PG level. Of the eligibility conditions to join MSc Mathematics course, let me tell you how to get admission to MSc Mathematics course. Like most of the academic PG course, the admission to MSc Mathematics course is also provided by any of the two methods adopted by various institutes across the nation. And the first method is the direct admission method. In this process, the admission to the candidate is provided on the basis of merit formed, taking into consideration the marks secured by the aspiring candidates at their UG level. Those candidates who secure more marks are given preference over the other and admission is provided on merit basis. But all the reputed institutes or universities where there are more aspiring candidates than the total number of seats the admission is given on the basis of rank secured in the entrance exam conducted at institute or state level. Some institute may also give weightage to the marks secured in the qualifying exam during the preparation of final merit list after the MSc Mathematics entrance exam. Some of the important entrance exams that you can take to get admission into MSc Mathematics course of some of the reputed institutes are NBHM MA MSc exam, IIT JAM, ISER Pune, Mohali, Trivandrum and Bhopal entrance exam, IIT Dhanbad entrance exam, Indian Statistical Institute admission test and Chennai Mathematics Institute common entrance exam. Besides these top most universities like BHU, DU, Pune University and Punjab University etc also conduct their own common entrance exams to provide admission to their MSc Mathematics program. It's always beneficial to know the syllabus beforehand. So guys, MSc Mathematics degree course syllabus is divided into two years having four semesters of six months each. And in the first semester of MSc Mathematics, you will study subjects like Theorems on Principal, Maximal and Prime Ideals, the Raymond Stelogis Integral, Isomorphism Theorem and its related problem, Finite and Infinite Sets, Linear Differential Equations of Nth Order and Modeling with Reoccurrence Relations and Examples of Fibonacci Numbers. Whereas the second semester will consist of subjects like Recapitulation, Rings and some special classes of rings, Fragment, Lindelof Theorem, 
Alexander Alexanderov's one-point compactification, first-order partial differential equations, second-order partial differential equations, and the conjugate space H of Hilbert space. And the third semester of MSc Mathematics, you will study calculus on Euclidean space, Volterra and Fred Hollam integral equations, two-dimensional flows of invincid fluids, numerical solution of partial differential equations, meaning of first and second order ordinary derivatives and abstract group theory. And the fourth and final semester of this two-year PG degree course will consist of Lebesgue integral, convergence theorems and Lebesgue integral, Romanian metric connection, Romanian connections and their components, partitions, definition of partition of a positive integer, asymptotic values and asymptotic curves and planarity, plane and planar graphs. Here again, I would like to inform you that these subjects may vary a bit from institute to institute, but the core syllabus of the course will always remain same across all the recognized institutes of the country. There are a number of private and public institutes that provide MSc Mathematics degree course. If you are looking for some of the best private institutes that provides MSc Mathematics course, then you can go for Chandigarh University Mohali, Amity University, Lovely Professional University Jalandhar, JP Institute of Information Technology Noida, SRM Institute of Science and Technology, and Sri Satya Sai Institute of Higher Learning Andhra Pradesh. And if you want to go for government ones, then you can think for IIT Dhanbad, Indian Statistical Institute, Chennai Mathematics Institute, Punjab University Chandigarh, Delhi University Delhi, and Jamia Millia Islamia New Delhi. Besides this, you can also join IIT Bombay, MSU Baroda, that is Maharaja Sayaji Rao University of Baroda, Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi. And this list is endless. You can visit our website targetstudy.com to check the complete list of MSc Mathematics degree providing institutes across the nation. Now I think we must talk about the fee that you need to pay to do MSc Mathematics course. Here I would like to say that the fee structure of MSc Mathematics course vary greatly depending upon the institute you are joining. Like in reputed private institute, providing this course, you might have to spend Rs 40,000 to Rs 45,000 per semester. Whereas in government institute, the fee for the same can be anywhere near Rs 10,000 to Rs 15,000 per semester. Now let us discuss about the career prospects and job opportunities after doing MSc Mathematics. You will be surprised to know that even being a non-professional academic course, the MSc Mathematics degree holder enjoys a very huge and vast career prospects and job opportunities in various sectors fields like in market research firms, engineering and manufacturing firms, aerospace companies, pharmaceutical companies, research and development firms, social and economic research firms and research institutes etc. as a data science modeler, statistical researcher, operational researcher, investment banker, research analyst, and business development officer, etc. Besides getting government positions in various government organizations as a demographer, statistician, quantitative developer, quantitative risk analyst, equity quantitative analyst, interest rate trading strategist, treasury management specialist, and researcher and accountant, and if the candidate is more inclined towards education, then you can go for degrees like BA or PhD and work as a teacher or lecturer in various educational institutes or join some research institutes like DRDO or ISRO as a scientist. Now, the most important question that how much you can earn after completing MSc Mathematics successfully. Salary after the MSc Mathematics solely depends upon your designation and organization you have joined. However, the average salary that a fresher MSc degree holder can expect in private sector can be anywhere between Rs 3.6 lakh per annum to 7.2 lakh per annum depending upon one's starting post. And if we talk about government job, then it can be anywhere near Rs 6 lakh per annum to starting with along with all the perks and benefits like TA, TD, HRA, etc that a government employee expects. So guys, that's all from this video. I really hope you find this video informative. For more such videos, subscribe Target Study YouTube channel. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you for watching.